Hi, boys and girls. All right, we are back at it again, finding the volume of our L-shaped blocks. So let's take a look at number one. I'll help you with the first two, and then we'll skip way ahead. So we have this shape here, and I think I'm going to sp split the two shapes right there. So you can see the first shape I'm going to be coloring in yellow so you can get a clear visual of it. And the second part of the L, I'll shade in red. Okay, you see those? Now we're going to break the two pieces up and try to recreate them by drawing them over here. So let's go. There's one, and I'm gonna draw this other smaller piece next to it. It's kind of falling off the page right now, but I'll move it so you can see it afterward, okay? All right, maybe I can put it underneath for now. All right, that's good. Then you can see both images, the two rectangular prisms together, and then split up. All right, let's label our new dimensions. Um, let's start out with the easiest ones. Three meters. We're going to record that right here. And this will stay 10 meters. And the depth here will remain two meters. Add in my, my meter symbols. Okay, now looking at the second shape, this remains two meters deep here, two meters high. And it was 11, but we cut this piece off. So in order to figure out our new dimension for, for our smaller box, we're gonna take the 11 and we're gonna take three away. So 11 take away three is eight. So our new dimension here is eight meters, okay? Now that we have all our dimensions, Let's solve. Okay, this shape here, we have a three by 10 by two. Three by 10 by two. And this shape here, we have an eight by two by two. Pretty sure we can do all of this math in our head, mental math. Three times 10, 30 times two is 60 meters. And then we have eight by two is 16, times two is 32 meters. Okay, let's label inside our new shapes. And when we add them together here, we get 92 cubic meters. Okay, we can fill that in. 92 cubic meters. All right, let's go on and do number two together. Okay, I'm going to divide this. This looks like the natural place to do it. And again, I'm gonna shade both of my New rectangular prisms, two different colors. Normally, if I wanted to be really artistic, I'd have a whole box of crayons or colored pencils next to me, but 
This was all I could muster up at this time. Okay, let's take a look at our two new figures. They look very similar in shape and size. Just one is laying flat and the other one's standing tall. So let's try to recreate those right now. There's one. Oops, I made it a little bit too close to the top of the paper. That's okay. Oops. Nothing can ever be super perfect, boys and girls. I'm learning this. Having to draw all these three-dimensional um, shapes. Okay, let's label what we know. Okay, what we know is this whole bottom piece, prior to splitting it up, was seven centimeters. But we split it right here. So we have to figure out how wide this piece is to subtract it from seven. And I can easily do that by looking up here. It's two centimeters. So seven, take away two centimeters, is five. Five centimeters. Okay, and while I'm over here, and I know that the width here is two centimeters, I'm gonna label it down there. I ran out of room up at the top. Okay, um, let's, See, what else do we know? That We know this height here is two centimeters, and we know the depth here is three centimeters. So we're pretty much all set with the dimensions for this shape. We have a three by two by five right here. Okay, so let's go back to figuring out the dimensions over here. We knew that this piece right here, from this vertex to this vertex, was four centimeters. But we made it a little bit longer here, didn't we, when we split it apart. So we're gonna take the four centimeters and we're gonna add it to these two centimeters to make this now a complete six centimeters long. Six centimeters. So it's two centimeters wide, six centimeters high, and how deep is it? Well, if we know the depth for this side was three, and it's the same width here, it's the same depth, I should say, I'm gonna label that three centimeters. So the dimensions for our second rectangular shape here are three by six by two. Okay. Three times two is six, times five is 30 centimeters. And three times six is 18 times two is 36 cubic centimeters. So let's add that up. 30 plus 36 is 66 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's fill that in on our volume line right here. Okay, I hope that was helpful. You're going to work on numbers three, through eight on your own, okay? When you're done with three through eight, you may resume playing the video and I will walk you through solving the last problem on your paper, number nine. Okay? Pause now.
Okay. Working on our last problem here. I'm gonna just stop myself and go back to problems one and two. What I didn't do here was I forgot to write in the total volume on each new rectangular prism. I'm gonna do that right now. This one was 30 and this one was 36, okay? And let's go back to this one. We had 60 and we had 32. I never like to skip a step like that. I think that's important. So that was my error. See, teachers can make errors too. All right, our last shape. Where am I gonna divide? I'm gonna divide right here, okay? Color my first piece in yellow, and my second piece red. And let's try to recreate those two rectangular shapes. They're a little bit lopsided here. There's one, and the other one's much smaller. Okay, start labeling our dimensions. What do we know? Well, we know that this piece right here is 11 feet high. We know that it's three wide. And it is 12 feet long. That one was easy. Okay, let's figure out the smaller one here. This is four. We saw that right there. It's four feet high. And again, 12 feet long. Super easy. All right, let's solve here. We have an 11 by 3 by 12. And over here, we have a 4 by 4 by 12. Okay, 11 times 3, 33 times 12. I'm gonna do the easy math first. Four by four is 16 times 12. Okay. Uh, we're gonna to have to do out some long multiplication here. 33 times 12, Oops, sorry. And also 16 times 12. Okay, let's solve this one first. Three times two is six. Three times two is six again, placeholder. One times three is three, and one times three again is three. Six, nine, three, 396, okay? When we add those together. And six times two is 12, put down two, carry one. Two times one, two, plus one, three, placeholder. One times six, one times one, Add them together, 192. Now we add both of these together, 192 plus 396. And I am gonna remember to go back this time and add in the cubic volume for each um, separate shape. Six plus two is eight, nine plus nine is 18, carry one, four, five. 588 is my answer for the volume there. 588 cubic feet. 
This first shape was 396 cubic feet, and this one was 192 cubic feet. Okay? I hope this is helpful and it makes your homework a little bit easier.